Oscar Wilde being an Irishman is, is totally riffing on polite society. And uh, Algernon is supposedly Oscar Wilde's mouthpiece. It's Oscar Wilde's thoughts and stuff have gone into this character, Algernon, uh, or Algernon. Um, and it's, it, it's just two people with mistaken, uh, two guys, Jack, who's the lead, and I'm his, his friend. It's, it's a buddy story, buddy pick. And we both take false identities. I pose as his brother uh, in order that I may meet her, and upon meeting her, I instantly fall in love with her. And, um, and he has been keeping her away from me. He won't let me know any information about it, but when I find out in the, the first act of the play, and the, the second, third act is, uh, at least my storyline, is go going to, to woo her, and she is. I'm Cecily Cardew, and um, I am, Gwendolyn is more of like the city mouse, and I'm the country mouse. Um, so we're, we're sort of similar, but we're also foils in that respect. So there's a, there's a lot of humor in that, um, because Gwendolyn and I do meet, and then the mistaken identity goes all around every character. It, it, it's interesting, because the humor is not your like slapstick kind of humor. It's, it's a very... It's a very witty humor, and it's very quick. That the play, even even though the play is three acts, which is rarely done nowadays, but each act is pr really quick. Really quick. And yeah, the, the line, short. the dialogue is quick, and it's just it, it, these these people, as Jim said, it's 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 a play about people who love words. The words are so different from how we speak now, and also they're British, well, the very dialect. posh British. Mm -hmm. um, we have been having dialect lessons just to get the words in our mouths and in our muscle memory in our mouths. So then, uh, what I said earlier, we forget the lines, which sounds funny, we forget what we have to say. So it just happens naturally and that's something we don't have to worry about. I was surprised how, even at our first table read, I, I had a cup of coffee in my hand and I kept, I was like, oh, I don't have time. Oh, oh, they're speaking, oh, I don't have time. It, I, was, I was surprised at how fast the dialogue went. I never, and the, the funny thing is my character is I have a ten, I'm always eating. And I started eating carrots yesterday to find when I have a chance and like one got caught in my throat during the middle of the line and uh, but like it, it's kind of fun like how quick it goes I wasn't ready for that and that's what the dialect uh, lessons are really good for is just learning to fly through that in really long breaths and of course the women will be wearing corsets so, yes uh, we've been making sure that our, our ribs are open and able to get used to those tight corsets the casting, uh, the quality of actors that uh, Jim Helsinger brings down, they're fantastic uh, and good people. And, mm -hmm. and it's a good group of people here, too. I mean, that's the, the staff, thing, that's why we come everything here. Everything is so efficient here. I remember yeah. that the first day that I was here, I remarked how professional it was and, and how efficiently this theater worked together to create such nice work. And you know, I, I, I've been so so lucky uh I, i've gotten to play like uh like shakespeare's greatest character of hamlet jane austen's darcy and then now what's considered like oscar wilde's one of his greatest characters so uh, why not i mean i guess that's the question what well, instead of why why not so yeah, yeah. That, that that's kind of what makes sense for me it is a pleasure